Good morning. Happy Thursday. How's everybody doing this morning? Hi, Heather. Hi, Irma. How's everybody doing? We're super excited this morning to be praying with Dr. Mario Sacasa. Um, and he is a, um, uh, a counselor. He's the Associate Director of Wildwoods Faith and Marriage, where he's a lecturer, he offers retreats, and he has a podcast. So we're going to kind of do a um, marriage theme this morning. So the meditations that we're going to do with the Luminous Mysteries are going to um, incorporate the sacrament of marriage. So I'm going to go ahead and get Mario on here. There he is. Technology works. How about everybody tell us how long you've been married, if you're married? Put, put the number of years. Hi, Mario. Hello, how hello. Are how are you? Doing great. Doing great this morning. And yourself? I'm good. I'm good. I didn't have to take the kids to school. and so. <laughs> I didn't either, actually. So yeah, exactly. I got to pray rosary I'm, instead. <laughs> but my poor exactly, wife had to get so. up early instead. <laughs> oh, so. you, have, you have four children or five children? Uh, four. Four. My wife four. thinks she has five, you know, including me. And so. then do, you have all, do you have all boys? All boys, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so she has five boys. Yeah, she does. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, well... Um, we'll just jump right into the rosary, and then um, we'll start with the intentions. And I had just mentioned that we're going to kind of um, springboard off of your vocation and sure. talk about marriage. So the meditations that I have for the Luminous Mysteries today kind of weave in um, marriage. So it should be really, really cool. And I was asking people to put in there how long they've been married. I was going to try to find the person married the longest here there's 43 <laughs> years 41 wow. years wow. this is beautiful that's amazing i will be married 27 years this in october wow all right somebody else 18 years me too 18 to years eileen okay who's been who's been married the <laughs> least amount who got married last weekend let's see who's been married one week um so let me start with uh, one other thing that I want to mention before we start, um, just to make sure everybody knows that we are doing a peace challenge for the month of October, for the month of the rosary. Today's the last day to sign up. And basically, it's super simple. You sign up for the challenge. You agree to pray the rosary 30 days. You invite a friend if you would like to. And we're just praying. Everyone's praying for just one big intention of their heart. And then after those 30 days, we'll see how God answered, because mm. he always does, even if it's not the answer we want, probably. <laughs> or in the time um, we want, either. <laughs> or in the time we want, exactly. Um, so this morning, um, from Leanne, we're asking for continuous prayers for comfort and strength for Sean and his family. He's 28 years old and was just diagnosed with ALS. And Elda has asked us to pray for her brother and sister. And then from another Leanne, um, She's asking prayers for her nephew, Brandon. He's a type one diabetic and he's very sick and hospitalized with COVID pneumonia. Mm, um, and he's only, and he's only 27. So yeah, we'd like to lift them up. And we always like to pray for everybody here on the live and then everybody that will join um, and watch the replay later. And then did you have any specific intentions this morning? Yeah, I guess, well, first I want to say to the person who has a family member with ALS, my brother-in-law passed away with ALS a few years ago, so we'll, we'll, we'll offer Roger's intercession for us this morning. Wonderful. Um, but for me personally, I would say uh, my family always want to pray for my wife and my kids, uh, but in particular for my clients also, my counseling clients that I see, and that the Lord may bless them um, and the particular challenges that they're facing today. Amen, yes. It's a challenging time. Mm -hmm. It is a challenging time. Um, I'm going to just do a little quick introduction, and then we'll sure. just jump right in. Sounds great. Um, Thank you. Jesus, your ministry elevated the ordinary. Baptism, a wedding, preaching, and the handing down of your work to the sacramental. As we live out our marriage, the sacrament the Father has called us to, we invite you to transform us. May we together testify to your love in our every encounter, seeking only to be your vessels. 
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And we pray for an increase of faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first luminous mystery is the baptism in the Jordan, and the fruit of this mystery is openness to the Holy Spirit. Spirit, come down, wash us clean, make us new, and help us to please God, our Father. In your baptism, Jesus, you opened for us the doors to eternal life in total communion with you. Through the grace of our baptism, we ask that you keep our eyes fixed on heaven and on living as each other's path to salvation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. 
The second luminous mystery is the wedding feast at Cana, and the fruit of the mystery is to Jesus through Mary. Jesus, at Cana, you made marriage into a sacrament when you performed your first public miracle. Water became wine, and that wine never ran dry. We humbly ask you for that miracle all the days of our life. Transform us, take the water of our earthly love, and let it become the wine of your divine love, abundantly flowing. Mary, you instructed the servants at the wedding to do whatever he tells you. May this guidance from you, words that point us straight to your son, be a cornerstone of our marriage. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, oops, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom, and the fruit of the mystery is repentance, trust in God. Let us be bold, Jesus, and unafraid. Lead us to lives of radical virtue, to hearts of service, and to the fruits of putting ourselves aside out of love for the other. You call us to repentance. We ask that our relationship with each other and with you is never long blocked by sin, but absolved of our weakness as an avenue of your grace. Show us your face, the face of mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. and Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art of thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration, and the fruit of the mystery is desire for holiness. Hmm. Heaven touched earth when you were transfigured on the mountain, Jesus. We joyfully anticipate those moments of transcendence in our married life, when our earthly experience feels so thin, so close to the heavens. Though, like Peter, we'll want to cling to these times, we know they're not forever. Even when we're back down in the valley, we pray our mountaintop experiences sustain us as long as we're on this side of heaven, strengthening, strengthening us until we are with you in eternity. May we see you, Jesus, fully revealed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, <clears throat> as it now and ever shall be, <clears throat> world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist, and the fruit of the mystery is adoration. This is my body given for you. We praise you, Jesus, that in marriage we're free to make our bodies a complete gift to one another, knowing that in the most authentic forms, purity and passion go together. We ask you to bless our married love. Draw us into total communion with each other and with you and cover us in your precious blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And, oops, my, my just went blank. Give us day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O oh, clement, O oh, loving, O oh, sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O oh, Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O oh God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you do the St. Michael for us? Sure thing. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.
and Father, Son. Amen. Thank, thank Praise you. The Lord. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, God. For, amen. Thank you for allowing me to be part of that. Um, it's beautiful. Um, I know you, you, you start reading. I, the, when I started messing up, I, I'm reading the intentions and then I lose track of where I'm at. Well, that's it. There's, there's so much going on. You know, it's, it's, it's words. I'm like, I know that our father, where did I just, I just lost it. And I just lose it. <laughs> so um, it's good. Yeah, exactly. Somebody remind us today's uh, the feast of St. Jerome. And mm. so um, I was just looking him up and uh, one of his most famous quotes says, uh, marriage is good for those who are afraid to sleep alone at night. So <laughs> I thought that was funny that, that his, one of his quotes was about marriage. So, yeah. um, what we like to do at the beginning first is just, um, ask you about your rosary story when you learned it, how you learned it. And when did it really have an impact on you? Anything you'd like to share? Sure. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm a Hispanic immigrant. I'm from Nicaragua originally. So I grew up in, in a Latino home. And uh, so we would pray the rosary, mostly kind of when somebody was dying or somebody was sick or for an intention for a family. And if you've ever prayed a rosary in Spanish, then it's, it's, it's not as slow as it is here. It's just, it's just like rapid fire. Like the thing's done in 10 minutes. Like before you're finishing one section, they've already moved on to the next section. And mm -hmm. so it, it's just, you do it very, very quickly. And so that's how I grew up praying the rosary. It was like super, super fast. And then it wasn't until college that I got into, um, uh, uh, yeah, I got into my faith in, in college. That's when I kind of had my conversion experience. I started learning how to pray the rosary really like with, with intention. And uh, not that we didn't have intention before, but just at a slower pace and, and, and allowing that to be another way of being able to pray the rosary. Um, so, so I would say that since college over the last 20 years, my, 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 uh, my relationship with the rosary has been on and off. You know, there are seasons where I'm like, I'm going to pray it every day when I come home from work or while I'm driving or commuting. And then that lasts for a little bit and then, and then, and then it kind of wanes or waxes. Um, so, but where I stand now is certainly I, I pray it with some regularity, probably not as much as I, as I would like to admit. Um, but I do keep the rosary in my hand, in my pocket, um, well, rather in, in my bag. And right now when I'm doing counseling sessions virtually like this, you can't really see my hands, but my hands are always kind of um, fidgeting with the rosary as I'm doing my sessions. Um, so every little bit helps and, and I know oh, that God, God sees it all. So. That's, that's amazing. That is, I know when, um, I'm a convert and I'm kind of mm -hmm. late to the rosary and, uh, but you, it's starting, it, you can, you can tell when you don't have it. And I, I've always heard people say, I always have it under my pillow or I have it in my pocket or in my car. And mm -hmm. I'm now kind of develop, you know, kind of, um, a little bit further along. And if I don't have one, I always say it's kind of like when you're a new mother, you always know where the pacifier is. You know, like who has the passy? Who has, I'm starting to feel like that with my rosary. Like who has the rosary? Who? So, um, so. That's, just, a, that's, a, that's a good analogy. I mean, there's an element of it. Well, of course we, we do, we reach to it. It should be something that we, that we do obviously with consistency. And that's what's beautiful about, about your, uh, your Instagram here that you do it every day. And there's a community of people that show up and people can kind of come and go as they please. Um, but that there is some consistency with it. But even if not, you know, you know that it, you reach for it because there is something comforting about having your rosary. Um, and that's the right. gift of the church that it gives these sacramentals that are, these are tangible signs, you know, that we can hold on to, you know, in, right. in these moments right. of distress. Yeah. So I was, uh, I listened to a few of your podcasts, which mm. was really exciting. I really, Thanks, I really Caroline. liked all of them. Um, <laughs> Thank you. And so I kind of wanted to just talk a little bit today about, um, well, let me, why don't you tell everybody exactly what you do? Because I know you're um, the associate director at Wildwoods, but. Yep, Will Woods. Will Woods. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, Will Woods. I'm sorry, Will Woods. It's, it's Does everybody Will say Woods. Wildwoods? Everybody says Wildwoods. Yeah, it's, it's a mouthful. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Will, Will Woods, Faith and Marriage is the name of the apostolate specifically. And um, at Will Woods, we do a number of marriage retreats as well as um, online resources that we're doing right now. I, I just had a retreat couple, last weekend, which was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, and then I do host a, a regular podcast that, that comes out every other week. I started that about three years ago, and the show's called Always Hope. And really, the show emerged out of my own, to be sincere, professional burnout. And um, as a therapist, it was the first time I had experienced that, which accompanied all sorts of like cynicism and, and, and exhaustion and all the things that you would expect to feel when you're burnt out kind of professionally with life. And because I integrate my faith into my work so often, it, it, it dug deep in terms of the questions of, it wasn't just professional burnout. I was like, Lord, what does all this mean? And what are you doing? And all that stuff. And so, so really the, the virtue of hope became something that was very, um, 
concrete for me. It wasn't something that was just kind of this abstract notion. And, uh, and so, so hope kind of led me, you know, out of my burnout in many ways. And so the show really kind of comes out of that desire to try to help people through the places where they find that they are hopeless um, or people when they find that they're directionless because hope also gives us direction even when we're not despairing or kind of a, a, a real underwater type of state. And so I, the show really kind of gets into the weeds of things, you know, whether it's counseling issues or cultural issues, um, trying to navigate kind of those complex things with, with the lens of, of, of hope and wisdom and the truth of the church. Um, so, so that's what the show's about. Wow. That's, I know so many people here are always looking for a counselor, but they want it wrapped in, you know, within the Catholic sure. faith. And so sure. that's amazing. Um, I had a couple questions. And if anybody um, in the community wants to ask a question, I don't know if we've done this before, but if, if they look at the bottom where the comment bar is, yeah. there's a little dialogue box that has a question, they can send one in. And I'll, I've never tried, but let's see how they pop up. I don't know. if they Go do. ahead. So we'll see. Um, one thing that I... Um, I've heard a lot from mostly women is I want to pray with my husband. Mm -hmm. I want to pray together, but how do you start? Or it's kind of weird or like, I, I want to, you know, it seems easier it, to me. It seems easier to do the family prayer, mm -hmm. but then when it's kind of just like the prayer, just with the married couple, it seems kind of strange or strange. So do you have any suggestions for people that want to start doing that? Or if they are doing it, Sure, sure, Ways sure. Ways to great, improve. Great question. Well, first I'll say somebody was asking the name of the podcast again. It's it's called Always Hope. Um, always, always hope. hope. And we'll, we'll in the we'll story that, once we're done, we'll I'll I'll up. tag it. Yeah, I'll that tag it. Great. I'll link it. The question you're asking is a good one. I remember when I was getting my my uh, my license after I had graduated. My uh, my supervisor, who was a Catholic therapist, she said, she said I, when I tell couples to pray, you know, many of them they just look at me like, like what are you asking? You know, and one of them she says one of them said praying with my husband, that's more intimate than sex. You know, like, how could I, how do I, that makes me feel so vulnerable in front of him. And so, so I guess it, it, so I say that kind of in jest because it's, it's, it's a recognition that, that what we are doing is something that is incredibly vulnerable, even though we're a big community right now, obviously praying, but to invite somebody into one-on-one -on -one prayer really kind of brings up a lot of questions. Like here, we flubbed a couple of the, the prayers, you know what I mean? And and you can laugh, right. but if, if you feel insecure about all of that, then it's like, oh my gosh, and this kind of ruins the whole thing or whatever. But really what it does is, is you're trying to invite your husband into a deeper place in your own heart. And are you ready for him to go there uh, first and foremost? Is he ready to step into that? And so I would say that, the, the, that, that if you're considering praying as a couple, then it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to, to, really, to really kind of incorporate into your relationship. Now, is your husband ready for it? And that's the other thing. Where is he in his faith journey? And so you don't want to, you don't want to push too much. But this is where something like the rosary can be an easy thing, where maybe you can start with just a decade at night, or even just an hour father. You know, you don't have to start with a full-blown rosary. You can take segments of it. And so where would I start? I would say something as simple as, an, as, as one of the, the great traditional prayers that we have, um, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, just saying one of those at night, maybe offering intentions and having a little bit of a free form type prayer, where, where do you want to offer, you want to say a particular prayer for your kids or for um, your marriage or something else that's going on. And being able to do that at a very small, small level um, would be the place that I would say to start. And then, and then, yeah, see what happens. You know, you kind of have to, you have to take that plunge yeah. a little bit. And if it's something that you really want in your relationship, then, uh, then ask for it and, and, and negotiate a way uh, that seems comfortable uh, for the two of you. That's great. I, I had heard somebody suggest once um, at night to just pray your rosary out loud. Like mm -hmm. if you're just in bed, you just pray one decade out loud and just ask your husband or your spouse, do you mind if I pray this out loud? And then she said, after about two weeks, he started responding. Yeah. So I thought that was, I thought that was beautiful because I, it is true. It is, it is hard. Um, it is hard to pray in front of somebody. It is it kind is. of hard. It is. It is. And I would say with that specific scenario that certainly you would want to get your husband's approval first before doing that. Right. So it doesn't come across as maybe something a little passive aggressive, you know, it's like, well, you're right, watching right, the right. iPad she had... and I'm going to start praying the rosary and uh, we're yes. just going <laughs> to, you're watching, you're watching Monday night football and you're I'm watching Monday here, night football and know. I'm praying the rosary over here, you know, so <laughs> yeah, look at me, look at how good I am. Yeah, exactly. You exactly, know, exactly. Exactly. Um, so these questions that I had kind of are coming mm -hmm. from, you know, sure. great places. questions. So the mm -hmm. other question I had, um, and I know Kristen talks about this a lot is, 
what have you seen or the struggles or maybe the fruits of what COVID has done to marriages? Because my husband worked from home before yeah. COVID, but he traveled 150 days a year. Yeah, and then he traveled zero days a year. Right. Right. Some people's uh, husbands or wives were out of the house totally, and then they were home. And I know for some people's marriages, it's been beautiful mm -hmm. to have like time as a family and also um, getting to know their spouse deeper and appreciate the work that their spouse does on both ends because mm -hmm. they can hear their spouse's business call or they can see their other spouse making breakfast, lunch, mm -hmm. dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Right. Um, but for other people, it's very hard. So what have you seen or what, what do you think has happened with, with yeah, that? Yeah, I, I, exactly what you said. I mean, in my, in my practice of marriage counseling, I've seen it go both ways. Exactly. It's like, however you were moving, whatever direction you were moving in before the pandemic uh, was accelerated. So if you oh. were on, on a track where, where you were not in a good place and you needed that space and the distance of work to be able to give you some of that reprieve that you needed because, because you're in a really tense situation, I found that those couples are, I, well, have, have not made it or are deeply, deeply struggling, you know, a year and a half into this thing. Um, but the couples who are trying and were moving in a direction where they were moving towards intimacy and having real question, I mean, a real desire for one another, then, uh, then this became another way to, to, to accelerate that. Um, and so I think that I've seen it go both ways. I know in my own situation, I actually fell in love working from home. I, I, I was like, man, this is great. I wish my house was big enough that I could just continue to do this. <laughs> I enjoyed being able to take a break and then coming out and having lunch with my kids because my younger two are homeschooled, the older two go to high school. Um, but just being able to, to have that extra time, I, I found it to be beautiful. Um, so again, it, it really depends. And so if, if, if you're in the, in the, in the latter circumstance and you're doing great, then, then praise God, you know, continue to kind of grow in that. If you're in the former, then what I would say is if you, if your marriage is really struggling and you've been trying for a few months to, to have these conversations, but you just feel like you're stuck in a rut and you're not able to, to overcome it, then uh, this is where counseling certainly comes in and, right. uh, and don't wait too late. Like there are professional therapists who are trained to help uh, marriages in difficult situations and, uh, and make your, avail yourself to, to what's, to what's available to you. That's yeah. I, I, I would agree. I think that, um, yeah, it, it was difficult for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, it was very difficult in, differences. In, in, in general, even like you're talking about like even your, you and your situation, you're like this, you know, he's gone 150 days a, a, a year, but then to have him back, you know, for all that time, even that's an adjustment, you know, it's like when couples like retire, right. it's like, he doesn't know what to do with his hands and what's like, you know, like I thought I liked exactly. him, you know, well, I like the routines, exactly. so the routines a little bit off. And so you have to negotiate and you have to, you have to have conversations, you know, during that time and be like, okay, I really just need you over there for a little bit. And it's okay to ask for a little bit of privacy. Just need to take the sexual long bath tonight. That's okay. You know, just to be away. Yeah. Uh, you know, right. it's, it's all right to have those boundaries. Um, what would be your best piece of advice to newlyweds? To newlyweds? Uh, I would say, um, prayer, foster, foster a sense of prayer and build on what you were doing in your dating. If your dating relationship um, was, had some intentionality and had some conversation with it, continue with those conversations because new things are going to be happening. I remember some of the early arguments that we had about, geez, how we folded the laundry different or how we squeezed the toothpaste from, you know, from the, the tube, all these things that we joke about in kind of popular culture are real. They're, they're real things. Cause mm -hmm. you're like, what, what are you doing? What are you raised in a barn? How do you, I can't believe you like you do it like that, you know? And so like approaching those differences, not from a place of necessarily judgment, but, but from a place of like, well, why do you, you know, kind of curiosity again and, and help me understand like, how is it that you do it this way? And what is it that I do? And so the early stages of marriage is really that, that learning how to share a life together with another person for the first time. And so be patient with yourself and be patient with your spouse as you are navigating those things. But if there really are some things that are rubbing you the wrong way, um, then, then learn how to vocalize those things too. I think sometimes we feel like we have to be polite. And we have to always keep things under the rug and kind of keep our opinions to ourselves. Well, you, you do that for seven years, eight years, all of a sudden you've, you've put a lot, you've swept a lot under the rug and eventually it will explode on some random Tuesday evening, you know, when, uh, right. when so-and-so didn't cook dinner right. And, uh, and it just kind of comes out, you know, sideways. And so, so learning how to attend to the differences that exist between the two of you and your personalities 
um, praying for grace to navigate those things well, uh, but, but, but being honest also in the conversations. Somebody asked, is it ever too late to try to go to counseling? Um, no, it's, it, I mean, it, it, no, it's not, it's not, I mean, it, 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 I mean, it's, maybe. it's harder. It's, it's hard. It's harder. harder. It's a lot harder for right. sure. And when you, when you have years of resentment built up between you in those walls and, and when the, the, the fire is dead, you know, in terms of the emotional or desire, it's hard to rekindle those things, but is it too late? No, it's not. And I think honestly, it, it's a good place to, to start. Um, if you are discerning, you know, um, Actually, I don't know if I can say discerning, but if you're in a really bad situation and um, in, 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 in you're weighing your various options, the, the best place to start is, 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 is with counseling and to seeing if, if, if something can be revived, for sure. Right. I remember um, my grandma told me um, her advice when I got married, and she said, the number one thing to a successful marriage is to never keep score. Mm -hmm. she, said right. in the, in, she said in the... Overall, just like everything else, it all balances out. There'll be some times where somebody's carrying 80% and somebody else is doing 20, mm -hmm. or somebody goes, you know, my husband's on a golf trip right now, mm -hmm. you know, for a week, and then he's going to walk the Camino next year with his dad for 40 days. Awesome. That's a lot of time away. It is. You know, but that's a season. And, right. if, and when you start to keep score, then that breaks the intimacy for sure. Um, and I thought that was a great piece of advice. And, um, yeah, and just to pray and just to pray for your spouse. And I think that's um, really, really important. Yeah. Amen. Even when you're even when you don't want to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> even exactly when you're right. like, mm, yeah. you know, but um, yeah, I think those yeah. are good pieces. OK, what's what's your best piece of advice to the marriage that's in the thick of raising kids and jobs and that middle part where it's mm -hmm. like you know, you want to pull your hair out because you have all these kids and all these sports practices and not letting your marriage get lost in the shuffle um, and making sure that it maintains some sense of priority among the things. And so if you go a couple months without having any sort of regular, meaningful conversation, then that means you need to sacrifice one of those other things to make sure that your marriage is, is what's important. And so that means going out right. for a date, um, getting a babysitter, um, going out for a date, or even if the kids are really young, um, you know, trying to, I mean, if you can't go out, then, you know, using the Netflix or, or Disney plus for, for 20 minutes and just sitting out on the front porch and, and connecting and drinking a glass of wine or a cup of coffee or something. Um, right. but, but recognizing when you're feeling something is off or something's lost or you're losing, you know, that connection, um, raising awareness to that and then and then actually engaging and doing something about it right so yeah. so regular intentional conversations and i recognize there are seasons of busyness and these things happen for sure um but but the, but to get through them before you get to the other side and, and it's been like we've drifted right. for 15 years and and i don't even know what she likes anymore and who she is right so when people you hear people say oh my spouse is like my roommate i'm like yeah, okay exactly that that's not a, that's not a good place that's not a good okay. place yeah, one advice. more that I had, and yeah. then maybe we'll take a couple from here. Yeah. Yeah, what's your one, yeah. advice? What's your best piece of advice for those like me who are on to be empty nesters? So I have a couple that have launched one in college, one in mm -hmm. high school, one in middle school. So I'm getting there. Um, what in this part of your marriage now you've been married 30 years or 25 years? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Yeah, a wonderful. I don't question. know because I haven't been there, so I need advice. Yeah. I want to see what you said. <laughs> it's a great question. It's a great question. I would say you know begin that conversation with your husband in terms of what you guys want this next stage of your relationship to look like, and how can right. you still be fecund you know during the season, and so still be life giving. And so even if if God has not called you to have more children, um, uh, you know certainly still there's an element of 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 fruitfulness that is inherent to any marriage, and so. The question then becomes, well, how do we, how do we serve um, and how do we serve together? Um, whether that is new ministry, whether that's grandkids, whenever they come, uh, whether that's just intentional prayer, um, whether that's some type of service activity or getting more involved in nonprofits, um, whatever that means, you know, trying to figure out what, what that looks like for you. Um, so that would be one thing. And the second thing I would say is giving yourself space to grieve. I mean, when, when the, it's, a, it's a tough transition, you know, when the kids are out. And uh, especially for a stay-at-home mom who has dedicated her whole, whole life to this project, 
um, of raising kids to just go ahead and say after 25 years it's over is uh, is a is a real blow and loss of identity. And so so there's a certain element of grief that needs to be respected and reverenced in that season that you just need to walk through to then get to the other side and recognize that there's still God still has a mission for you, God still has a plan for you, God still has a call for you in every season and every stage of your life. And so right. what is that, you know, for for that next phase? Yeah, that that that's really good advice. I like that. How can we serve together? Mm-hmm. Because it is when you're in the thick of it, it is just it is a lot of it's disjointed sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, mm-hmm. Karen, I don't I think this is Karen. She had a question. What yeah. would you do for a spouse who's depressed but would never go to counseling? Yeah, I would say um, first pray for your spouse, obviously, and, and pray for their healing. Um, but even if they're not willing to go to counseling, are they willing to go on a walk together in the evenings? Um, are they willing to, to do some type of exercise, you know, together? Uh, those are, there are other things that we can do that can certainly help and, and, and raise our, our affect. So, so the question becomes, are they, are they willing to do some of those things? Um, uh, when, when do you find that they have any sort of energy, um, if they have any sort of uh, increased affect and, and, and encouraging them in that, not, not in a condescending, like, oh, you look great today, you know, that type of thing, but like, Hey, you know, I'm really happy to see, you know, you're, you're, you're a little elevated today than the normal. And I, I just want you to know that I really appreciate that and love that. And so encouraging them when, when they are feeling better, um, and then finding other ways to be able to, to help them, you know, or to encourage them, you know, like I said, through exercise, through prayer, through conversation, and then just offering that intention of, of, of them going and getting professional help, you know, continue to raise that before the Lord. As we said at the beginning, we joked about it, you know, God, God does answer prayers. It just isn't always in, in the right time or, or in the right way that we would want. Um, but just give praying for the grace of, of something to be a breakthrough, you know, so whether that is a type of men's retreat yeah. um, or something of that nature, uh, those things can certainly be helpful to jumpstart our lives again. Um, but, but I do think, like I said, maybe finding other ways that you can do things together, like exercise or going on a walk, changing diet, all these things we know can, can certainly help with our affect. And then just encouraging when you do see, you know, um, a, a little change or a little breakthrough. Depression's tough. Depression is really, yeah. really tough. It's, 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 like a, it's like a heavy boot that somebody just puts on you, you know, and, uh, and it struggles to get up. You know, it's not that they don't want to. Um, it's just that they, 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 they can't. And so um, it's, it's a very difficult thing to kind of navigate, especially in a marriage. Right. Where, how is the best way for someone to find um, a Catholic counselor? Yeah. Is there give, resources? There, there are. Like, yeah. Yeah. There are two great resources that I'll, that I'll give a plug for. The first one is the Catholic Cer- Psychotherapy Association. Catholic Psychotherapy Association is a, a national organization of, of professional uh, mental health professionals, uh, counselors, psychologists, licensed marriage and family therapists, social workers. Um, so I would say go to, uh, to search Catholic Psychotherapy Association. Um, the exact website's failing me at this moment. And then you look up, find a therapist in your area, and you can see one of the members, okay. you know, kind of close by. Um, so that would be the one place that I would start. The second place is that there is another uh, national database called um, catholictherapist.com. Um, and okay. they also have... Uh, easy to find kind of find a therapist in your area link. Um, so catholictherapist.com would be the other option that I would recommend. If you can't find people through any of those means, then I would start local and ask your priest, um, ask okay. your priest who, who they recommend and who are people that they've worked with in the past, who are counselors that they trust in the area. Um, okay. So I would, so I would do that. And if that doesn't work for you, then I would go to the diocese and contact the family life office and ask them okay. who are therapists that they've worked with uh, for some of the marriage preparation programs or marriage enrichment programs. Um, and because the nice thing about even going at that level is that one of the advantages, I guess I would say blessings, if we can say that of COVID, is that every counselor became comfortable doing this. Every right. therapist became comfortable doing telehealth. So even if you don't have somebody in your city per se, but you have somebody in your state that you can work with and you feel comfortable doing a Zoom type of, of session, then, uh, then I mean, I can't I really, every therapist has gone to some form of telehealth uh, practice at this right. point. Yeah. So every, everybody's available for it, um, even if they're not in your local area. So that's why even going up to the diocese, yeah. if you have it in a large diocese, it can be somebody that may be a couple hours away, but it's somebody that, that at least the diocese trusts and work with and see about their availability. 
So those would be the well, steps that I would encourage that, people yeah. to take. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really that's really good advice to ask the priests. You know, mm -hmm. they, you know, that's great. Yeah. Well, this was such a this was such a great morning. It was. It's always beautiful to start with the rosary. Amen. Kind of set our intentions for the day, and um, and to, um, you know, to just talk about, you know, how it's hard being married is hard, but it's also very beautiful. And when you um, when you consider the sacrament of it, you know, mm -hmm. the sacramental part of your marriage, it's, it's, you know, it's very beautiful. So. Well, it's a, it's a reminder that our, our marriage is our vocation. And so the, the very act of loving your spouse is the thing that's going to make you a saint. It's the way that you love them and that you're faithful to one another that is going to transform you and make you the best version of yourself, the way that you love your kids. So our, our the gift of marriage is that our mission and calling in life is very clear. It's the person right next to us. And, uh, and, and we're called to love that person with, with all our heart, uh, with everything, you know, um, and to, to give ourselves to them and to understand them and to, to guide them. So I think if I could just say one final kind of encouragement, if I can just take an extra minute here. I mean, you know, today as we pray the oh, no, mysteries, yes. you know, really, it just as I was praying, I mean, I really just thought about the great grace of lights and the luminous mysteries and recognizing that God's grace shines in darkness and that he calls us to bring that light to others as well. Um, and so, so be encouraged with that and be encouraged with the grace that God wants to give to us. Um, if we do find ourselves in a difficult situation, whether it's in our marriage or in our vocation or, or life as a whole. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's a great, it's a great way to look at it. Um, mm -hmm. It always, it all, all, everything always lines up so beautifully when we, when we keep, you know, having the fidelity of praying this daily rosary and this yeah. community is so beautiful. Um, and it's just, we always say it's the best community on the internet. So we <laughs> sounds great. Sounds love great. it. Um, well, thank well, you thank so you much. For allowing me to be and, uh, thank it you was for welcoming wonderful. Into thank you so much morning. guys. All right. Have a nice day guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.